Well, both uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump have taken different approaches to their preparations. Joe Biden has spent days at the presidential retreat Camp David, reportedly preparing for this big event with the help of a group of advisers and a mock debate stage. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has made a point of continuing to hit the campaign trail at least over the weekend. And another uh, important part, really, of the preparations is the management of expectations, the pre-debate spin that is coming from both campaigns. Donald Trump has already tried to argue that the debate host, CNN, is biased against him, that between the two moderators and Joe Biden, that it will be a three-on-one contest. That is something that the network has uh, strongly rejected. Uh, Donald Trump is also expected to try to criticise uh, Joe Biden's age, as we've seen him do repeatedly, to question his capacity for the job uh, and he'll want to focus on areas that he considers to be his uh, stronger suits like the issues of the economy and immigration. Joe Biden on the other hand we expect will point to Donald Trump's criminal record given uh, that he has now been found guilty in New York of falsifying business records and he'll want to highlight issues like reproductive rights and also what he says is Donald Trump's threat to US democracy. So let's hear a little bit of what uh, uh, both sides are saying as we get closer to this debate getting underway. He doesn't need advisors to drill talking points into his brain. He knows what he wants to say, unlike Joe Biden, who we understand has been hiding away in the woods at Camp David for the past week. And tonight he's going to present a clear choice uh, between himself, who's fighting for the American people uh, every single day. And he's uh, going to be debating against Donald Trump, who's now running his campaign as a convicted felon uh, who's fighting for himself. OK, Jade, five or so months to go before Election Day. How important could this debate be? Well, this is a really big moment. This uh, debate is being held unusually early. It means that neither candidate has actually been officially confirmed by their parties yet, and neither is considered popular among the American electorate. So this debate uh, does present an opportunity for both Joe Biden and Donald Trump to try to build momentum for their campaigns. On the flip side, such a high profile moment also carries risks. If, if either of them have uh, a, a bad slip up or a stumble, then you can expect that that will be immediately clipped up on social media, especially, and sent right around the world. What will matter in the long run is how much Americans are going to pay attention to this moment uh, so early in the campaign and whether it shifts any votes. There were mixed views on that when we spoke to people here earlier. I'm leaning one way, but I'd like to see what's going on, what everybody has to say. I think they're both um, not what our country needs. I think that um, the United States could come up with better candidates. I mean, there's a significant number of people whose minds are already made up and have been made up for probably since the last election. Now, this debate won't take place in front of a live audience and there'll also be a mute button. That means when one candidate is speaking, the other one can't be heard. That's a measure that is aimed at trying to avoid the rather unruly first debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden in 2020. So we'll have to see uh, how that unfolds in just a few hours' time. Interesting experiment. Hey, Jade, thank you so much. And you can watch CNN's US presidential debate live on ABC News from 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time this morning. And then stick around on the news channel for analysis of the debate with Jeremy Fernandez and a panel of top experts.